Like you're would this be would that be loitering? Not really, because we weren't there for too long. Like I'd say we were not there for like like we were there less than an hour. It was almost the come up of it, and I when I was eating them, the shrooms, I ate four grams with these people that I've maybe talked to maybe three times in my life. And then I ran into more people that I recognized, but it, again, I only talked to them maybe a couple times in my life. So I ate the other four grams. And all the people I was supposed to do the shrooms with were just disappeared and I couldn't get a hold of them. So I'm, I did eight grams, so the, the, it came up really fast. And I run and I'm looking and I recognize people and I realize, oh, it's them and they're in Subway. And I go to push on this door and it's, it's a pole door. So I'm pushing and I'm like screaming, open! And I, like I was screaming, like, like it was unbelievable. And then I realized it was locked, so it was gonna open anyways. So I go around to the other door, whip it open, I sit down, and I'm like, oh my God, dude, I just did eight grams of shrooms and it's coming up fast, like it's, it's hitting me. This is my first psychedelic experience. Well, with shrooms. And uh, this huge sign I was leaning up against fell off the wall and it had cucumbers on it. And it just fell and it collapsed on me. And it's Halloween, so it's like children and families getting dinner, like in the subway. And I just started screaming and freaking out because this huge sign of cucumbers fell on me. And like, it was cucumbers, like. And so I run, run out there, they put the sign back up and me and my buddy Brendan, we haul ass into this elevator that was in the same strip mall. We sit in there for like maybe five, 10 minutes. And I'm just, I feel like my chest is gonna implode from all this paranoia and fear from just the come up. And as soon as I clicked that button, cause I realized we didn't click the button, and then the doors closed and all the fear just seeped away. The feeling I had when I was on psychedelic mushrooms was really good because I was hanging out with my best friend, you know, like I was just like feeling the groove, you know, like like the entire time I didn't feel anxiety, I felt good. I felt great. Like, cause it just like heightens your experience with every emotion you have. Yeah. So I'm just like, like, like I'm hanging out with my best friends. So all right, feel good. Add mushrooms to it. Feel incredible. And yeah. Like the entire time we were just nostalgic. We just kept on like talking and talking, like just like talking about this, talking about that. And I just felt incredible. And like the day after I still felt that same mellow, you know? Like, it's just like, I feel good. Like, I don't have any anxiety. I'm just like, I'm relaxed. I could not feel any better. I'm like, like the first time I ever felt that way and I'm going to work, I always, I like, every day I was just like, ah, oh, I gotta go to work. But that day I was like, I'm excited to go to work. I'm ready for this. Like, let's do this. And I just like, I felt incredible. I couldn't. And then like after a day or two, it's like, because like before, like I'm a very controlling person. I like to be in control of myself and make sure everything's okay. But in this instant, I was okay with it. But like before, I was like, oh man, is this gonna be forever? Like, I don't wanna be like, you know, that guy that's just like taking drugs all the time. I just wanna be like relaxed, like here and there. And it was like, it was a good experience. Like after it, like I'm just like, look back at it. And I'm just like, I could not have been happier in that moment. Yeah, so basically it uh, started off with me and my buddy's place. Uh, smoked a little bit of weed at first, and then um, he uh, offered me to do some DMT. He was like, hey, so you wanna do some DMT? So I was like, yeah. So he uh, packed up his bong with a little bit of weed, and then dumped a whole bunch of uh, DMT in it, way more than I probably should have taken, and uh, then put some more weed on it. He's like, okay, just torch it slowly, and then suck it all in. And then, uh, and then immediately after I blew it out, I felt like two sheets of glass were closing in on my body. Like it felt like my skin was just being squished and like pushed out kind of like that. And uh, then I went over to his couch and I said I needed to uh, sit down. So I sat down just like the spread eagle pose. And I look at my buddy and uh, he's smiling because it's just like a funny thing to see. 
and I uh, close my eyes and I see it. Well, at first it, I close my eyes and then I see it smile. It looks normal and then it slowly or quickly changes into a clown smile, very like evil looking and just like scary looking. And I see it projected across my vision like thousands of times. And uh, then I look over at my other buddy and I see his full face and I close my eyes, see his full face with like wings. I don't know if wings is the right word but like just psychedelic shit just all around it and then that projected thousands of times and then uh after that that was my last rational connection to anything in the real world or in this world and uh then after that point i was just kind of in this weird limbo where i had zero conscious ability to be aware of anything i was just experiencing shit and i don't remember a lot of it but i know there was just indescribable patterns and objects that would just fucking rock the world if they were able to be pulled into this dimension to show us it and then uh, there's one point where i i, I think this happened I, I i'm only remembering what i've told i'm not really remembering the experience itself but i'm pretty sure that I saw like this almost textureless looking like CGI looking humanoid that was looking this way and then looked at me. That's that's all I remember from that. And then so I'm just experiencing all this without any conscious awareness. It's just all just happening to me even though there really wasn't anything left of me. I was just seeing and experiencing things without any judgment or uh, ability to comprehend any of it. It was just happening. And then uh, eventually when I got, it started getting bad because I became consciously aware of what I was experiencing. Or not aware, but I became conscious of it. And that set off a lot of warning signs in my brain. So I knew that there was something not right going on. I didn't have the ability to connect it to anything rational, like, oh, you smoke DMT. If someone said that to me, wouldn't understand it, wouldn't know what any of that meant, even if I could understand English, which I don't think I could at that point. But it was, I couldn't connect any rational rationality to what, was, what I was experiencing. 